We're here at the Oakland Coliseum, where every Sunday is Halloween for this NFC North versus AFC West matchup between the Bears and the Raiders. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. down as they head to the line working that left side a takeaway it's got some daylight well that's a rough way to get the game started isn't it Phil come out and throw an early pick oh it is it's a terrible way to start for the quarterback and everybody involved but I'll tell you this I think it was a terrible call so the quarterback when the play's not there throw it away he took a chance and that's why it was intercepted Four Tays lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First and ten. The action fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tipped away. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Hester's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. Perfect. Chicago in for the score. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Bears line up now for the point after. The point after is good. Bears ready to kick the football. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Black round! Black round! McFadden's lined up in a single back formation. And the give to Darren McFadden, trying the right side. They've got him down there, imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. And we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Terrell Pryor will be under center. Eyeing that left side. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. That's just bad execution by the offense. Bad decision by the quarterback. He pitches it out to the running back. Nowhere for the running back to go. And he lost a couple yards on the run. Quarterback. Quick toss to the outside. Fumble. The defense has the football. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. Off 
offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Throwing out to his left. Chicago in the end zone. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. The Bears now will tack on the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Let's round! Let's round! First down here. Darren McFadden will run with it. Heading right. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Trying to establish the run, but there's nothing there here at the start. Well, they didn't pick up many yards that time, no doubt about it, but that's a bad job by the running back. He picked the wrong side to run to. Nobody was blocked from the side he went to. Reese has got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. That reception gave them the first down. Right side. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Pryor's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Should have had it. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. McFadden's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. And he'll try it left. Shakes off the hit. Give that last hit to DJ Williams. The defense comes out in the nickel. Back to the running back, looking for some daylight up the middle. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback and nobody's prepared for the run. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. The Raiders are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. And almost picked off. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Jones in the backfield, single back set. And he was wide open. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback. Going through his progression, he finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Lining up now for the two. Touchdown, two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? 
Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Flag is out. The last thing you wanted to do here was kick it out of bounds. First down on the way. Matt Forte gets it here. Goes to the left. And that picks up only one. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Hester's lined up in the slot. Second and nine. The handoff to Matt Forte. And the tackle is made at the 41. Matt Forte is just one tremendous runner in the NFL. That time he picks up big yards. He just keeps getting the job done and goes unnoticed. I don't know why, but he does. Bennett's in the slot. First down and 10. Staying with the running game on first down. And Tyvon Branch has the tackle. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The pass complete, and that's a gain of 10. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. for an open receiver on the right. Gains nine. Good job by the receiver, running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. First and ten, Matt Forte, middle. Tyvon Branch in on that last play. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. The Bears still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Second down now. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That time I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. The Bears are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. The 
Bears come to the line with an empty backfield. Throws to the right. Interception. And here he goes. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with a play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. On first down, they give it to him on the counter. What a run by McFadden. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you've got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. First down here after the completion. Friars dropping back to pass once again. And he's taken down. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. Second and 11. He'll throw it over the middle. Raiders. Touchdown. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Raiders will go ahead with the extra point. It's good. The Bears are ready to return the kick. That return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and 10. Inhales the pass. Picks up five. This is probably the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to pass coverage. Four defensive backs all playing deep. Afraid to give up the big pass. That's great. You don't give up the big pass, but you give up an awful lot of short ones, especially in cuts going across the field. Offense lines up here. That catch gives them a first down. Crossing routes. That's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep. Cover four. Look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Has some space to work with. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. Matt Forte is just one of those running backs who could just make it look easy like he's not putting all of his effort into it. That time, a good job avoiding tackles and picking up big yards. Intercepted! Going to take it the distance. He's at the 50. He's got room. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly you make the catch and you take it all the way back for the score Raiders ready for action on his way he's at the 50 and he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Bennett's lined up now as a slot receiver. 
He'll fire it out to the left. Almost intercepted. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Second and ten. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Scans the field. The defense gets a sack. Well, you're on the offensive side. My God, you know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick, or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. Hester's a receiver in the slot. Screen pass. He steps out. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Third down after the completion. Out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up... down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. Hester's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Forte is going to secure the handoff. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Marshalls lined up in the slot. Second and 12. Looks to his left. Woodson with the interception. You've got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. Halfback sent in motion. Pryor standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And he's hackled at the 34-yard line. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Running back in motion here. Second and 13. Reese is there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. 
Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive, proud of the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Offense lines up here. Intercepted. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Now, nobody's open. Tries to force the pass, and look. What's it turn into? An interception. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Jay Cutler with the deep ball right down Broadway. The Bears are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. And now lining up for a 53-yard field goal. That kick is no good. No good. That does it for the first half. Bears trailing this one. We're back here now in this one where the Raiders are leading by eight. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. I got a chance to quickly speak with Terrell Pryor during halftime. So far, his team is out in front, and he told me the important thing now is playing smart. If they can control play and just avoid costly mistakes, they'll be in good shape in this second half. That's all from down here, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. defense comes out in the nickel. The third quarter begins with this play. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. Terrell Pryor will be under center. Second and six. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. He's in the clear. Touchdown, this game is tight. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long. Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. But there's a flag thrown in. Encroachment of defense. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Bears ready to kick the football. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Has the first down and a whole lot more. And he is tackled at the 44. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Pryor's going to take it from the gun. They pick up the first down with that reception. Order rounds not thrown enough in this league anymore. A lot of teams don't do it because it takes a strong arm quarterback to get it done. That was a terrific throw up the field that time. Tackled at the 20. Always manage the football game. You got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. 
And it's DJ Williams who makes the tackle. The Raiders come to the line with five wideouts and no one in the backfield. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. This play just takes so long. That's why it doesn't work too often in the NFL. Fast defenses. The quarterback makes the fake. He tosses the football outside to the runner. Nowhere to go. And he loses yards on the play. Caught, gains 14. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Looking to the right side and throwing. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second and goal from the eight. That's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. You know, the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. Unable to bring it in. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Baddens lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. What a catch. Touchdown. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. Now for the two-point conversion. He's looking to the right foot and additional two points on the board as they convert. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team has the recovery. First down, offense ready for the snap. Trying to work that left side. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Second down after the incompletion. He'll fire it out to the left. He didn't look it in. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Jay Cutler will take the snap out of the gun. Here it's a third and ten. That pass play picks up a first down. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. DJ Hayden is there. He picks it off. So that's a two-point safety for the defense. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Hester's going to try and return this punt. And he's brought to the ground.
They come to the line, and it's first down. Matt Forte gets it here. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Second down and 10. The handoff to Matt. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Goal. Cutler sells the play fake and looks downfield. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. He made it. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Got a little crease. He's in the clear. The 10. What an effort. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Honor. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. The Bears call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. The Bears are ready to return the kick. He stacked up at that point. They face first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 10. The throw to the left. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Third and 10. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The Bears come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Well, they're a gambling football team. They like to take chances. Even though they're down, it's in the second half. They take another chance. They go for it on fourth, and this time they got it. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. 
They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Coming up, second down. Matt Forte running to his right, spins away from the tackle. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. The Bears have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. It's third down coming up. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That is a nice job by the running back there. He knew it was third and short, so he put that big old body up in there and grinds out the first down. Hester's in the slot. First and ten. Working that left side. Makes the catch. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. Sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. This play set up by the long gainer. Setting up a little screen. And it's Charles Woodson in on the tackle. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. The Bears with an empty backfield look here. Eyeing that left side. Ball slipped out of his hands. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series here on third and five. They give it to the running back. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. This long drive continues. From the gun. Looking across the middle. He's touchdown. Chicago got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. They'll get set looking to convert on this two-point try. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Jacoby Ford with a chance to return one. This is a big-time return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Flex round! Flex round! Nickel formation for the defense here. Counter run here. Dan picks up about three. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. He sends the halfback in motion. Pryor's got it in the gun. Reaches out and snatches it. 
That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Navarro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Right where it had to be. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Yeah. Time that this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows. His, in his hands, complete touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully, right on target. Touchdown. Lining up now for the two. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. The staff wasn't saying much about the injury other than it's not severe enough to keep him out of this one. So expect to see him back on the field shortly, guys. First down here. Throwing now to his left. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Cutler steps back into the gun. He'll fire it out to the left the quarterback throws it on the mark there's the tackle but still it's enough for the first down perfect defense called that time they allowed the catch the coach on the sidelines going well what else do you want me to do we had the guy double covered and you still couldn't make the play Hester's lined up now as a slot receiver. Spinning out of trouble. <laughs> Two minute warning. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Second and ten. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. This is third down. Surveys under fire on that throw. Yeah. 
The Bears lined up. Everybody split out wide. The wide receiver in motion. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Yeah, the crowd is always yelling. Their team is losing. Go for it. It's fourth down. Well, they went for it. Now what do you say? They didn't get it. Bad call by the offense. They shouldn't have done it. The Raiders come out. Two tight ends on the field. In on the stop. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second and four, McFadden. Gets to about the 36. That's a timeout call. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. Flex round! Flex round! Terrell Pryor will be under center. Third and two. Looks to his left. Almost intercepted that time. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. Setting up in the pistol on this play. not going to get it done here and the offense is going to turn it over on downs well the defense they overplayed it they knew it it's fourth down they took a chance they guess right they make the stop and that's probably going to win the game for the defensive side the bears are at the line and they are out of timeouts picks up about eight good job that time by the offense power run gives them a few yards Marshalls, a receiver in the slot. Second and two. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. The Bears head to the line and out of timeouts. Second and long. Cutler still got the football after the play fake. Incomplete. Pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Throws to the right, and he hauls it in. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations.
Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That'll stop the play right there. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. The quarterback will hand it off. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. This will be the final snap. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. They had to take it from the red zone to the end zone with only one snap to go, and they pull it off. Congratulations to the offense, but I know the defense is going to be sick when this. When they watch the film of this, they didn't take a chance. They played very passive, and the offense took advantage of it. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. The Raiders come Flint out Rowe, for the next Flint possession. Rowe, Flint Rowe. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, 